coordinates. So it says each square matrix has, with a real number element has a number associated with it. The number it is is the determinant, right? So what the determinant is, it just lets you know if your matrix is singular. And if it's singular, then you just stop. Yes, sir. Can I receive a paper? Singular. It just means it's linearly dependent. And what that means is your row is a scalar multiple of another row. But we're not going to get that deep anyway. So it's just number singular. And that means you just stop. So we're going to, so, yeah, so let's say given A with elements A, B, C, D, which is a two by two matrix. This will work with all two by two matrix right here, right? So you'll write the, the determinant A, and then you'll read the determination of A, determinant of A, and how you evaluate it. It's just AD minus BC for meaning. Uh, meaning, you just take the, the product, the, the difference of the di diagonal, like AD, subtract BC. You just take the difference of your diagonal. Is this only with two by two matrixes? Um, yes. So you're just multiplying these two and taking the difference of these two, right? So how you so an example would be we have three, two, negative one, five, right? So three times so three times five subtract. So Two times negative one, right? So from there we get fifteen. You have the negative, right? So you just that turns into a positive. Two. Which is seventeen. So, so everybody got this right. And that's all I want to do. That's it. Is that a five or a? It's five, I'm sorry. So you can take any, for the second example, that's on your paper. Four times negative five minus three times two, right? So that's negative 20 <coughs> minus 6, which is negative 26. Hold up. That's it. You're going to need to learn to know this. You're going to need this too, because tomorrow we're going to do inverses, and you're going to have to use this in order to find your inverse, right? So let's go, let's now let's say, we'll, let's do a three by three now. You will do a three by three a little different, right? Their method works only for two by two. The method doesn't show me. So it's a different method for three by three? Yep. And four by four? Four by four, three by three, and then five by five, and so on, so on. So we're gonna focus on the two by two and three by three. So let's say we get so we're gonna we're gonna come up with a formula, whereas you can just plug it in, your numbers in, your elements in, and just get your determinant right. So for the first, so what you would do so step one says rewrite the first two rows to the right of the matrix. What that means is we'll take this matrix right here, matrix A. A1, with elements A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. And we're going and we'll write this. We'll write the first two to the right of the um, matrix. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I said that. Right. And you'll write it like that, right? What about C? Huh? What about C? You just take the first two rows, the first two columns. It's supposed to be columns, I'm sorry. Change rows to columns. First two columns. 
and you just rewrite it to the left, to the right of your matrix. And from here, you'll take the sum of the first set of diagonal, the first, the first set of the product of the diagonal. What meaning is you'll just take the sum of the main diagonals, right? So you take this one, two, three, right? So that's no, that's wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. You take the diagonal like that, and end up with a1, b2, c3, plus b1, c2, a3, plus c1, a2, b3, right? And that's the first step. So what you'll do, you'll take the product of this diagonal, you, then you add it to the product of this diagonal, and add it to the product of this diagonal. So A1. So there's three diagonals? Three diagonals, yeah. A1, B2, C3, which is the first diagonal. You take the product of that, add the product of the second diagonal, B1, C2, A3, plus the third diagonal, right? C1, A2, B2, you multiply them together. And then you take, and then you take the sum of the second set of the products of the diagonal, right? Maybe the secondary diagonal. One, two, three, right? So you end up with A3, B2, C1, plus B3, C2, A1. Plus C3, A2, B1, right? Can I move this up a little bit? Did everybody got this right? So do everybody got this? So step four, so now we're just going to take the difference, meaning we're just going to subtract the first one from the second one, right? So A1, B2, B3, plus B1, C2, B3, C1, Take that and you subtract that from this, A3, This will work for any three by three matrix. If you can just remember this, it'll work for any three by three matrix. Right? So we get to try this one, right? So we can take an example for this one. So we know A1 is equal to one. A2 is equal to zero. But no, A2 is equal to zero. A3 is equal to three. B1 
four, from B, three, and four, five. C one to the two, two, one, C three, two, two. And you can just put that in the form right here. So you have one times B two is four times two, right? Plus B one zero. The whole thing gonna be zero, so you just can't, you can just cross that out. Right? So that's gonna be zero. Zero times anything, zero. It's C one, right? C one is negative two times A two, which is zero. So that's just gonna be zero, right? And you take that and you subtract that from right here, right? A three is three. B2 is 4. So 3 times 4 times negative 2. Plus B3. 5 times C2 is negative 1. A1 is 1, right? So plus zero, right? And from here you just, from here is just the math, right? Eight minus twelve. Eight twenty four minus five. Eight minus eight of twenty nine. It turns eight plus twenty nine, which is thirty seven. So it's determined it should be 37. So do we have any questions? So, so on the on the next two sheets, you see right here, and the following sheet is your classwork. We'll be walking around. If you need any help. Do you all think you're gonna need calculators? Do you need a classwork? Okay. If you can use if you have a calculator, no. I got 30. You can, you can stop.